music royalty come from far and wide for the Grammys. Big names from the past, the men and the women of the moment and the future. Mother and son and mother and son. Pink in red, Katy Perry in white. From electronic dance to pop country and beyond. It's the music industry's Oscars, their biggest night of the year. Yes, it's about awards, but it's also about putting on a great live show with some of music's biggest names. And it was a great show. Music's power couple, Beyonce and Jay-Z, singing together to open the night. Then a showstopper from Katy Perry, being burned at the stake. And Pink singing while performing a trapeze act with a bit of audience participation. That's what the Grammys is all about. As for the prizes, it was the night of the robots. Stevie Wonder sang with Daft Punk. French duo came away with a hat trick of top awards. Best pop group, record of the year, forget lucky, and album of the year. The robots would like to thank... Speaking for them, Pharrell Williams, who picked up four Grammys, you know, including honestly, Best I Music Producer. France is really proud. We'll never be royal, royal. And it was also an amazing night for Lord. The 17-year-old New Zealander won Song of the Year for Royals and Best Pop Solo Performance. Well, hello. Thank you to everyone who has let the song explode, because <laughs> it's been mental. Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Paul McCartney, with a little help from his friend, Ringo Starr. Not only did they both share a Lifetime Achievement Award for the Beatles, as they approached the 50th anniversary of their first appearance in America, but Sir Paul McCartney also picked up Best Rock Song for Cut Me Some Slack. If I was gay, I would think hip-hop paints me. The best newcomer was Macklemore and Ryan Lewis with the anthem of a huge shift in American society over same-sex marriage. We are gathered here to celebrate love and harmony. And a mass team, wedding to show Grammy support. Look this I'm Gay to and straight, old and, and young. And who else would be the wedding singer but Madonna? Open your heart to The show may be over for another year, but many of the stars will be hanging around an extra day to record another TV spectacular, a concert remembering the 50 years since the Beatles first came to America. Sir Paul and Ringo, no doubt, a big part of that. Alastair Leith, BBC News, at the Grammys in Los Angeles.